I fell in love with music at a at a very very early age due to my family. Like my uncle, my uncle had his own band, and uh, him and my father and them they used to rehearse downstairs in the living room. And you know I would sit on the steps while they would rehearse because they'd probably be rehearsing like. 11 and midnight and stuff like that and I would be little so I knew I couldn't go downstairs because I wasn't supposed to be up so I sit on the steps <laughs> you know what I'm saying and um, um, you know just listen yo what up it's your man Nelly Growing up in St. Louis, childhood was, it, it was a little different, you know. I didn't live with my mom nor my dad at, at, at certain points, but I think as a kid, you don't, you don't know no better, so it, it is what it is, you know. I'm looking back on it, I guess it, some people would call it a little shaky. You know, when I first started jumping into rap, you know, I used to hear Melly Mel all the time, and they used to call me Nelly Nell. <laughs> Over a period of time, people stopped saying the whole thing, <laughs> and the Nell dropped off, and it was just, hey, Nelly. We just ran with it. My rap career began, I would say, probably once I moved to University City, uh, hanging out more so with uh, the rest of the St. Lunatics, uh, uh, meeting Keywine at an early age, and uh, knowing Murphy Lee when he was he was about six. <laughs> I think that that friendship right there matured more, and then our love for music just kept getting uh, you know stronger and stronger, and we decided that we was gonna try to do something about it. I'm probably one of the few rappers that, that had the type of success that I wasn't signed by a major rapper. I didn't get picked up by a major producer. Nobody co-signed Nelly, you know, and um, we made something happen. Uh, what I would like for my fans to take away from my music is whatever they feel they need to. And I say that because I don't know what my music means to every fan. You know, especially someone like, such as myself who varies the different styles and different flavors of music. It's a gift and it's a curse. You know, it's a gift in the sense of you feel free when you're creating, but it also can cause confusion when you're trying to put together albums and come up with things and ha have a certain groove and you're trying to please everybody. You know, it can sometimes uh, be hard. 